Hello good people, I'm PC Africa and welcome to the Wataka TV YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing Happiness Ever After, a proudly South African film. Uh, Happiness Ever After is actually a sequel of Happiness is a Four Letter Word, uh, which is an adaptation of a book named Happiness is a Four Letter Word, right? Uh, so when the announcement was made, obviously I was excited. Uh, I did notice that the lead of four, Happiness is a Four Letter Word, one of them is not in the movie. So I was just wondering, why is that? What's happening? And then fine, gave an, the movie an opportunity. And I think when it comes to cinematography, the scoring, the performance, casting, I think they've done an impeccable job. I think the deliberate casting of a talented actor who happens to be dark skinned and she, Nambita, who portrays the, the character, I believe Zambita, was in beta. <laughs> Am I forgetting the character's name? <laughs> uh, great choice with that. I really, really enjoyed that. Richard and Renata are just impeccable on camera. Uh, the Princess and Leo characters, just their energy, their synergy on camera. That was beautiful. Like, wow, oh, I really, really enjoyed that. And I think the characters remain true to who they are. Obviously, you get attached to the ladies. Um, I think what they did with Nandi, it would have been nice if, I mean, they, it's almost like they just brushed it off, you know, under the carpet. And it's like, ah, man, Nandi's a part of the story, right? So I think they could have done a little bit more uh, with that. I did think that the character played by Yona Thomas is slightly similar to Seriously Single. I don't know if it's the car, but at the end of the day, because he's like such a great performer, like you forget that and you become in the moment. So. It would be nice to also then see that it is, is Zambita and Yonder's storyline is, is it complete? I feel like we are, we are, we have been robbed, and I would have possibly I mean Zambita did a great job in narrating the story, but I would have possibly thought that it would be great if we have Princess narrate it. I think if Princess narrated the story, the story. Because I felt like this was her story. Like, it felt like we were going through what Princess and Leon, you know, all that turmoil, you know, that, that, that it was beautiful to witness. Uh, but I think I would have made that choice. But somehow the choice they made works. <laughs> so I'm very conflicted. Like, did you think it took away anything for, for those who even watched the first film? Um, and by the way, I don't think that if you did not watch the first film you would be confused that much i think they did the groundwork and just establishing what has happened in the other film i think mainly because they knew it would be on different streaming platforms and accessibility you know so not a lot of people outside of south africa have access to showmax so obviously if it's going to be on netflix it needs to be a very clear story so i think when it comes to that i think they laid the groundwork well uh, i really enjoyed the dynamics of zaza and her in-laws dealing with grief that was a beautiful choice of the story i really loved that um obviously i think i would have loved to also see zaza really deal with grief, like how it affects her besides the fighting and the bickering and back and forth i would have loved to see that out of out of that storyline just Zaza dealing with grief like how is it hitting her like when she's by herself right I, I don't think we saw a lot of that anything that I would change and I felt very disappointed and very almost dis disrespected as a viewer is the character that is played by Rami Twini in this happiness ever after dinero but those who've watched uh, happiness is four letter word would know that she actually played the helper and they could have possibly said this is a helper who got an education and maybe zaza's husband was mentoring her and today she's a successful business person and because and because now she's like an investor maybe they could just say that what she got educated in is like a different industry hence she couldn't work for zaza's company and whatnot uh instead of just making it just seem like this is just a new kid i felt very disrespected like whoever authorized that no <laughs> um but i think it's, it's it's a it's a great film it's a great film like great performance like i said it would be nice also if they explored the character called tato which is portrayed by Louisa mcdonald i wanted more out of it such an impeccable performer like if i had that actor on my course sheet <laughs> he would work uh, but it's for uh, rather it's happiness ever after streaming on Netflix. Do check it out and share your thoughts about it. Uh, like I said, the reviews 
sort. So I couldn't talk about many other things. I'm busy, Africa. Thank you for honoring us with your time.